Venice, Louisiana has long been known as a major oil production area. There we go. Oh, yeah. there he is. I think you're on. I think so. And oil rigs attract big fish. There he is. You got him? Oh, yeah. Good deal. Oh, man, look at that. That's what people come to Louisiana to catch right there. Oh. All right, there you go. Oh, there, oh, he, is. there he goes again. Oh, man. Woo! Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. The town of Venice sits at the end of the road in the Louisiana Delta and offers a great jumping off spot for fishing the oil rigs. It's a long run down the Mississippi River to get to the Gulf of Mexico, and captains have many tributaries of the river they can choose to take. Several different channels can lead you to the east or west, but most offshore fishermen choose to run due south out of South Pass, a channel which leads past the famous lighthouse and settlement at Port Eads, the last outpost of civilization before you enter the open gulf. Well, Trey, I'm really excited to be back in Venice. I love fishing Louisiana. You guys have big fish and a lot of them. Two really good things in my book. And we're getting ready to head out South Pass, past uh, historic Port Eads here. And what's the game plan today? What are we going after? We're gonna run offshore and see if we can load up the wells with live bait and uh, go look for some yellowfin tuna and possibly some snapper and some other stuff. Man, that sounds awesome. Let's go do it. We got a beautiful day. Good deal. Let's sounds, get after it. Sounds like a plan. Once you reach the Gulf, you have hundreds of rigs from which to choose. Some are close to land, but others may be as much as 100 more miles offshore. That's why fast center console boats that are capable of covering a lot of ground have become the preferred vessels in this part of the world. So Trey, we got what a double rig here. This looks pretty promising. Uh, is this a good red snapper spot? This is one of my favorites. And how do you fish them? Do you fish them around the legs in front and back? Mainly on the up current side. Yeah. And every once in a while we'll tie up and fish down current, but majority of the time we'll hold the boat and fish the up current side. Well, let's go up there, get up current, and see if we can find one. The rigs off Louisiana serve as giant artificial reefs, attracting both bait and predators to the mass of structure lying beneath the water's surface. There he is. They're chewing on it, buddy. Come on, commit. There we go. Oh, yeah. there he is. There you go. Got his head turned now. Maybe. Looks like a good one. There you go. Getting close. Good deal. You right here, oh, it's a big one. You can grab him? That's a nice one. It is a nice one. Good work, good work, good work. Yahoo! Yeah! Nice fish. Hi, buddy. Nice fish. Look at that. He's full grown, man. Yes, sir. Barely hooked, too. I know it. Hook just pulled Hook right just out. just fell right out. Yep. But you know what? He was hooked just good enough. That's right. It's good to see these fish coming back. You know, I think they were in trouble, but now they're everywhere, and hopefully uh, they'll keep getting better, and we'll just see more and more of them in the future. Yeah, there's definitely no shortage now. Yeah, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy. Yes, Lots sir. of fun. Thank you. Uh, we got some leftover tuna, some uh, belly okay. strips and stuff. From we're the fishing day. with yellowfin tuna as bait. That is decadent. Mm -hmm. I like it, though. Yep. Just some tail pieces and belly strips. Yeah, so, man. Make great snapper bait. Toro. Let's pull out all the stops now, buddy. Snapper gonna have no chance. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now he's got it. Yahtzee. <laughs> Yahtzee. That looks like a good one. Yes, sir. Turn the handle, Randall. I'm trying, buddy. He's got other ideas. Oh man, the primal pull. That looks like a good one. It is a good one. He's right here, Trey. It's a good one. That's <laughs> a good one. This is the one we've been looking for. He fell for the super secret bait. 
Oh man, beautiful. Oh man, look at that. How nice cool is that, buddy? Good deal. That is an awesome fish. A genuine American red snapper. Yes, sir. That's what people come to Louisiana to catch right there. It's a nice one. One of the prime species. Yeah. That's what is a he, nice about one. 15 pounds, you think? Yeah, at least. You know, yeah. 15, 17 pounds. That was awesome, man. Thanks a bunch. That was a bunch of fun. Thank you. All right, John. I got him, I got him. Oh, yeah. I'd say that's him. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, is brought to you by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at ramtrucks.com. Guts. Glory. Ram. By Yellowfin. Your legacy. By Simrad. Go with confidence. And by... Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. With such long runs required in open water, fishing off Venice is obviously sensitive to weather. It can get rough in a hurry, making for a long ride home. But during our trip, we got lucky with the weather as we had light winds and fair skies every day. The air temperature was 92 degrees with 84 degree clear water, and a steady barometer allowed us to enjoy blue skies throughout our expedition. Let's do it. John, we got a dolphin on. Nice, man. That was quick. Any size to it? I haven't seen him jump. I jump one time. Looks like, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 pound fish. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. I see him jumping out there. I do see him. Nice. Oh. There you go. It's a good dolphin. Spun around on him a little bit. Oh, there oh, he is. Oh, there he goes again. You're doing a fine job. He looks like he might be foul hooked or wrapped around. Oh, yeah? He coming in backwards? Uh, kind of sideways. He is hooked right there in the back. And then all wrapped up on top of that. Well, let's get him in. There we go. There nice we go. shot. All nice right, catch, man. All right, man. You want to grab that tail? Check her out. She's kind of skinny. Looks healthy, though. Yeah. It's a full grown cow dolphin right there, buddy. Oil drilling ships like this one float in as much as 6,000 feet of water in the Gulf and attract everything from bait to dolphin, tuna, wahoo, and blue marlin. All right, John. You on? Get him. I got him, I got him. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'd say that's him. Somebody. You got him? I got him. He's not very big or he doesn't know he's hooked yet. Hopefully he doesn't know he's hooked yet. Yeah. I got him over here. You just realize he's hooked? Yeah. Pray for that harness. How we doing, boss? Yeah, he just figured out he's hooked. There's no doubt about it. He's still pulling on? No. He's getting a little bit back. He's pretty good ways out, though. Good deal. Has this got the uh, 80 diamond fluoro on it? Yeah, that's 80 fluoro and a Good. next size up hook. Well, it proves they'll bite the 80, doesn't it? Yes, sir. How you like fishing in Venice, John? Oh, man. This is why people come here, man. 50 feet. Yeah, he's right there, see him? He's under the boat, under the boat. Right there. There he is, man. That's nice a, fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. Can I stick him? Could do it. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Nice fish. Are you kidding me? Get out of your way. Need help bringing him up? I got him. One, two, three, go. Oh, oh buddy. 75? I'd say so. Oh, I am. 
feet up, but feeling good. Made quick work of that fish. All right, let's pick him up, man. I'm gonna grab his tail. All right, get a better look at him. No, oh, can you hold that? Look at that stud. Look how thick he is across the shoulders. You got the heavy end, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Look at his blue lateral line. What do you suppose they call them, yellow fins? I had no idea. Yeah, really. Look at that. I know, that's cool how the fin just totally retracts. Yeah, I mean, it goes all the way down in there. They're an awesome fish, man. Thank you, buddy. Let's put this guy in the box and get back to it. What do you say? Sounds good. Off Venice, we used Penn Torque and Spin Fisher V spinning reels and International Big Game reels on Blue Water Carnage and International Rods. We spooled the reels with diamond braided line and Mamoy monofilament. You got him? Oh, yeah. Good deal. Oh, yeah. He's coming our way. This fish is angry. Well, so am I. Got to be hurting him because I know it's hurting me. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, is being brought to you by Penn, let the battle begin. By King Sailfish Mounts, for that once in a lifetime catch. And by Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. Driven to Fish, powered by Ram Trucks. Simrad's Insight Genesis is a powerful online service that enables fishermen to create custom contour maps of their favorite fishing areas. Insight Genesis uses sonar readings taken from broadband sounder and structure scan transducers connected to Simrad multifunction displays to create personalized, highly detailed maps. To create your own custom chart, you activate the standard sonar log feature to record sonar data to an SD card. Once recorded, a PC application is used to upload the sonar log file to the Insight Genesis online cloud-based service, where it is converted into a map. You can even add bottom hardness and vegetation information. When the new chart is ready, you receive email notification and can preview the chart for free online. You can then choose to buy a download individually or through an annual subscription service. When working a rig or a ship, you need to mark the schools of tuna on the sounder. Put your live baits out and then chum to get the fish to the surface and hopefully trigger a bite. Right here, right there, Ooh, right behind the boat. It went down for a second, something just popped up. It might have been a bonita or something. Yeah, I saw a few small ones bust back there. They come up and they go down, they don't stay up very long, but when they do, you see them all over the place. There you go, buddy. Thanks, you're on. Oh, I think so. I believe you are. Why not? Why not? I don't like my bait, man. Didn't get it? False alarm. Might have been a little guy. Playing my emotions. Mine is. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm on, I'm on. There he is. You got him? Oh, yeah. Good deal. Oh, oh yeah. You ready for the belt? Yeah. Perfection. Thank you. Well, John, if that's the same fish I was marking when we put the baits out, he's going to be a good one. I'm going to be here a while. Yeah. That's all right. How's that pen torque doing? It's doing great. Got the 65 pound uh, diamond braid on him. He's coming our way. There you go. This fish is angry. Well, so am I. You gotta be hurting him because I know it's hurting me. <laughs> I know that. There he is, I got color. Good deal, good deal, good deal. Ugh. There he is. Yeah. Under the boat. Keep going back, keep going back. Spin around. Oh no. 
Okay, here he comes up, sorta. Of. Watch that gap. He's definitely. What happened, man? Pulled the hook. Oh, God. I thought maybe my knot failed. At least that's one good thing, my knot didn't fail. Pull the hook. Pull the hook, man. What was that, like an hour fight? Hour and five minutes. An hour of my life that I'll never get back. I'm telling you. Oh, man, that's <laughs> terrible. Uh, you know what they say, when you fall off the horse, you just gotta get right back on. So, let's, let's go get back on that horse. Let's go get so another I watch one. you catch a tuna this time, <laughs> while I rest. I'll get him this time. <laughs> The Atlantic yellowfin tuna is a highly prized offshore species that is hugely important to U.S. recreational, charter, and commercial fishermen alike. The yellowfin is a highly migratory pelagic species, meaning they roam the waters of the world's temperate oceans at will and often travel great distances. This complicates the management of the species since the fleets of many diverse countries from Africa to North and South America catch them. Commercial fishermen off West Africa target small yellowfin over fish aggregating devices, commonly called fads, catching huge numbers of fish, possibly before they've had a chance to spawn. And what happens in West Africa can substantially affect fishermen in the United States. International management of yellowfin tuna falls under the jurisdiction of ICAT, the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, and this body is working to control the West African catch to ensure that stocks in the Western Atlantic remain healthy. Coming up next on SFTV, more red-hot offshore action from Venice, Louisiana. Got him? Yeah, you got him. I'll reel the other one in. That's a big fish, Trey. Oh, man. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, has been brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are, by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild, by FloridaFishingLicenseCampaign.com, always say, I do, and by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at RamTrucks.com. Guts. Glory. Ram. As in most fishing situations, the bite could turn on and off on the rigs. Sometimes you just have to wait the fish out. That can be a frustrating exercise when you see fish jumping nearby, but the bites don't come. As in most things, however, patience pays. By putting in your time, you'll connect with the hungry fish eventually. Got him? Yeah, you got him. I'll reel the other one in. Hang on, Trey, I'm coming. Okay. Want the belt? Yes, sir. I'm on it. You didn't have that much line on you. Just mark your fish at 100 feet or thereabouts. We got color. Yes, you do. That's a big fish, Dre. I got a feeling this one's getting a free ride to the dock. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That's a big fish. I'm in neutral, OK? All right. It's a big fish. You ready? I don't have him. I don't have him. Hold that. Hold that. Got him now. Nice shot. Take that one out. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's 80 pounds. How about that, buddy boy? That is the fish of the day right there. That's a good fish right there. Let's take a look at this guy. Let's see if we can pick him up. He is heavy, buddy. <laughs> you got the heavy side. That's all right. I'm just trying to do an estimation of sushi in there. <laughs> Quite right, a bit. Right around a lot. Right around a lot. 
You know what's cool about fishing here in Venice is the, uh, the amount of structure you have, these drill ships, man. This is kind of a new thing for me. These hold so much bait and so much life, including these great tuna. And there are hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of these fish out here today. That's why people come from all around the world to fish right here in Venice. That's right. World-class fish like this one we're holding. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Gray, I want to thank you for a great trip, man. Every time I come to Venice, the people of Louisiana show me incredible hospitality, and you guys catch me big fish, and this has been an exceptional trip in that regard, man. We've got a lot of stuff. Yes, sir, we have. If you're coming to Louisiana, to Venice, you need to look up this guy right here, Captain Trey PK at Voodoo Fishing Charters. And what's your website? VoodooFishingCharters.com. We'll do it again real soon, I hope. Yes, sir. For Sport Fishing Television, I'm John Brownlee. Thanks a lot. Accommodations in Venice were provided by the Venice Sportsman's Lodge. The lodge provides comfortable rooms, gourmet meals, and the bar is always open. And they can arrange any type of fishing trip you like. For more information, log on to southernwaycharters.com. To learn more about Sport Fishing Television powered by Ram Trucks, visit our website at sportfishingtelevision.com. And be sure to visit us at facebook.com slash sportfishing. Next time on Sport Fishing Television powered by Ram Trucks, join us as we travel to Isla Morada in the Florida Keys, where we target the big hungry sharks of the Everglades. Hey, my bobber's down. That's a big one.